What is going on, guys? It is Sports Today here with another video. And today I am doing another NFL video. I'm doing the top five most underrated slash surprise teams of 2020. These are teams that are underrated. No one's really picking them to win a lot. Or they just were bad last year and they will be good this year based on my predictions. At number five, we have the Arizona Cardinals. Yes, the Arizona Cardinals. Um, they finished not too well last year. I think they had five wins. Um, I think they will improve to nine and seven just because I just believe they will be very good. Um, as you see my projections, I'll just let you see it for a second. Um, I have them, um, predicting better in both offense and defense. Um, that's how I see it going. You know, the Cardinals did go five, ten, and one, but I have them improving to nine and seven. That is still the number three team in their division, behind the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco Forty, behind Seattle and San Fran. So their offense, I have them predicted at the twelfth best offense, better than the twenty first in twenty nineteen. With the additions of DeAndre Hopkins and their defense will go from twenty eighth to twentieth. The four, Cleveland Browns. I think Cleveland will be much improved as well. They did go six and ten last year, and I have them going eleven and five. I think eleven and five is a very reasonable record for this team that's the most talented team in the NFL. On offense, they have two of everything. On defense, they have two of everything. They have two of literally almost everything. And they're good of two. Like they were the 22nd offense with some injuries. Baker not being good. I haven't ranked the 7th best offense. That's how good I think they will be. Their defense should be much improved. They were 20th last year. I have them going 10th, top 10 in both categories. Because I just really like their defense of Miles Garrett. And so on and so forth. Number 3, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I know you might say, oh, this is the most overhyped team. It's not I don't think so. I think Tim Brady was bad for the last 20 years, and I think Tom Brady is going to help them win 13 wins. Because last year they did go 7-9 and nine with Jameis Winston, who threw 33 interceptions um, or turnovers, you want to call them. Yeah, I've won 13 and 3. Their offense in 2019 was third best. I actually have them going fifth. Um, I think Tom Brady is not really a deep ball thrower like Jameis, so it might be a little more conservative, but I think that offense will explode again. They'll be top five again. And their defense will improve tremendously from 29th to 15th in the league. I think they can be 15th just because Jameis is not giving the defense um because Jameis threw so many interceptions that it would um cost the defense, basically. And the defense didn't have any time to adjust or sit down or do anything. At number two, I have the Denver Broncos. Yes, I do have the Denver Broncos. Um, Denver did go seven and nine last year. So you might think, oh, it's not really an underrated. I have only nine and seven. I think that's a much improvement from seven and nine. You know, from seven to nine wins, it's that little like hump. And I think they can go over. I think they have um the ability to go ten and six this year. They just have a kind of a tough schedule. Um in twenty 19, they had the 28th ranked offense, but when they had Drew Locke, they were actually playing very seamlessly. Um, they did, uh, they still have Cortland Sutton, but they added Jerry Judy and KJ Hambler, two stud wide receivers that should complement each other. They added Melvin Gordon, so that's a great right, right running back tandem. And sorry, and their defense was 10th last year, and actually I'm going 6th. They had a great amount of defensive players, and I just think that Denver will be much improved. I'm going 6th on defense, 16th offense. Number one team, if you might have saw it already, the Detroit Lions. Detroit, with Matthew Stafford, was on pace to win around 8 to 9 games, in my opinion. Um... I have them predicting going 11 and 5. And there's some reasons. A healthy Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford was on pace to throw for 38 touchdowns and 5,000 passing yards. More than 
Lamar in both categories. 